welcome the CEO and the co-founder of Gusto, Josh Reeves. On the other side of the street, I knew. Hello, hello, hello. I guess that's I'm thrilled to be here with you all. Hello, accounting professionals here in Denver. Hello, accounting professionals on the internet. I do have a bunch of cool content to go through with you all. Are you excited to be here? I'm really, really excited to be here. We're coming up on our 10-year anniversary at Gusto. November is our 10-year anniversary, and I think about all the progress we've made, how important this community has been to us, and I'm really excited about what we're going to be able to accomplish in the next 10 years. Um, so for my remarks, I'm going to be talking a little bit about kind of Gusto, a little bit about the early days of Gusto. I'm going to talk a bit about me, for those that don't know me as well. I'm going to talk a bunch about Gusto next and what we're going to try to cover today. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the workforce trends underway that affect accounting professionals. And then in particular, you're going to hear from me and a bunch of my colleagues about a lot of the product work, a lot of the features, a lot of the things that we're launching to help better serve you. So without further ado, let's dive in. Um, we really view Gusto as the people platform. That's not a surprise to many of you. But really, the real reason why we call it that is that we have a fundamental belief that people are at the core of every business. And that really guides everything we do in our product. We're honored to serve 200,000 plus small and medium-sized businesses today. And from a Gusty lens, that is what we call ourselves, uh, we have now 2,000 Gusties that are in SF, Denver, New York, and also remote. Uh, over 40% of our team now is going to be in more of an indefinite remote capacity, which is a new, exciting, uh, different way to work. Uh, I promised a little bit of early days at Gusto. This is, uh, are some pictures of myself, my two co-founders, Tomer and Eddie. And this is the house where we started the company. I wanted to really relate and share with you all, how did we get into this problem space? The three of us actually are uh, electrical engineering dropouts from the PhD program at Stanford. So if you didn't know that, there is a connection there. Um, but what really brought us into this space was we had run prior businesses. We had experienced the pain, the frustration of doing things like payroll or setting up health benefits in a way that felt way too manual and way too cumbersome. And for a business owner that's wearing 20 different hats, you know, it was the 21st hat that really made us feel this can be better, this can be simpler, this could be easier. If we, if we focus on how to bring technology into the space. Um, in addition, we have family that run small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, you know, even my mother-in-law actually is an accounting professional. She runs payroll. So when we got started, we realized there was a big pain point here. And one of the first communities that we actually talked to was accounting professionals. Right? My mother-in-law was one. Uh, my co-founder, Tomer, had been doing an internship. He asked to talk to the accountant of that firm. We basically wanted to meet with any accountants we possibly could because we knew that they were going to be critical sounding boards in giving us feedback on how can we tackle this problem? How can we make it better? What do they see as working and not working in this space? So I just want to give a shout out um, both to those accounting professionals and all of you that have been such great feedback and sounding boards to us over the years. It really is what makes our product possible. Um, I want to share a little bit about me. So uh, I do want to highlight you know, what matters most to me is family, frankly. And um, I wanted to spotlight my, my parents in particular, and then I can't show a family picture without my, my two kids. We have a two and a half year old daughter and a 10 week old son. Um, and their names are, are River and Sky. Someone told me that could be like a folk band. We'll see if they actually develop <laughs> musical talent. But we just love nature, and that's why my wife and I chose those names. But I really want to spotlight my parents here. They've had a huge impact on my life. My mom is an immigrant from Bolivia. She came to the US when she was 18 not speaking any English. Really, her life has been a journey of creating something out of nothing, right? Coming to a new place, meeting a whole new community, putting herself through school, getting a scholarship, getting a job. And uh, she's really been a big inspiration to me on, on what is entrepreneurship. We sometimes think of entrepreneurship as, especially in the Silicon Valley environment, tech and startups, I really think of entrepreneurship as a mindset, right? It's a mindset of not accepting the way things are as the way they should be, you think about how they could be, and you do something about it. Um, and my, my father as well. He grew up in a small town up the Allegheny River um, outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. His whole family had worked in the steel factories, the brick, back, brick factories for many generations, doing really good, solid, meaningful work. And they were both the first in their families to go to college. They both became teachers. And one of the most important principles at Gusto is service mindset. And if you have parents that are teachers, you learn service mindset pretty fast. 
So bringing us back to Gusto Next, why we're all here today. Uh, this is all about celebrating you, the accounting professionals that are a part of our community that we're thrilled to partner with and serve. This is our second time doing this. I'm excited for this to become a third, fourth, fifth, 10th, 20 year anniversary. We're gonna get there. And the last year has been, again, a really, really unique, trying, complex, and rewarding time. That's really how I describe it when I get asked about what the journey's been like at Gusto. It's been our time as a community to shine. It's been our time to help small and medium-sized businesses in their time of need. But it's also been a very intense time, and it's also, I know for many of you, been a very exhausting time. But I just want to give a shout out to all the work that's been done to help companies navigate things like PPP, navigate all of the different changing regulations, rules, requirements. Obviously, that's something that we focus quite a bit on at Gusto in the context of, of payroll and health benefits, but it's also something that's very squarely on your plate as accounting professionals, given the very close relationship you have with your clients. So above all, we're just honored to partner with you. As I mentioned, really this partnership began in 2013. I was the first uh, salesperson for our accounting program. I remember going to a bunch of different events and conferences and meeting various accounting professionals. Um, and yeah, you know, OG, I guess it's always fun to go back to the roots. Um, but it's been amazing to see, again, this community grow stronger and stronger over the years. One last thing I want to note before we dive into some of the workforce trends that we see is I also want to acknowledge that in the last several months, we haven't been where we need to be and want to be and have been historically in terms of our service level. And I want to apologize for that. I think many of you got an email from my co-founder Tomer recently, and I want you to know that it is an enormous focus for us to make sure that what you deserve, what the clients deserve in terms of response time is back at the level that you've expected and have had from Gusto in the past. And so I just want to make sure that's very, very clear to you. It is the number one priority for me and the team at the moment. So let's dive into workforce trends. Um, what I'm really excited to highlight here, and this hasn't changed, whether it's pre-COVID or after, but people, 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 people have been the primary focus of so many conversations we've had with small to medium businesses and also with many of you over the last year and a half. And whether that's related to people needing to access healthcare for their families given a pandemic, or whether it's related to obviously all the different compliance and government regulations changing, we know that people and work, this connection is foundational really to how society functions. But I wanna share some stats because it's also been a time of a lot of change. Change even more so than what we had previously. So some quick stats. We've had 4 million resignations a month happening. We've been having 3.6 million retirements during the pandemic, which again can be a wonderful thing. There's good reasons to retire, but it's also a big number and that has an impact on the workforce. And then we have had, and here's another maybe silver lining, a ton of new business formation, right? 3.2 million in the first six months of 2021. That's a trend that started actually last summer, which I know many of you got impacted by. And it's something that actually in the grand scheme of things is, is really exciting. It means folks are taking that plunge, being entrepreneurial, starting something new, seeing an opportunity, and wanting to go build something from scratch, which is incredible and something that we're gonna always celebrate at Gusto. Uh, on top of that, um, we have 10 million job openings and on, in kind of a weird, interesting paradox, a lot of folks looking for work. So there's this really complex puzzle of how can there be so many job openings and so many folks looking for work at the same time? Well, it's in different places, it's in different industries with different skill sets. And so that makes for a really, really complex dynamic in terms of how we help all of our clients navigate it. Because if you have a small business or a medium-sized business that is growing or wants to grow, there's customers wanting their product, but they just can't fill those roles, that's really frustrating. It actually limits their ability to act upon that opportunity. Couple more stats here. In a recent survey we did with uh, over a thousand of our clients, um, we found 47% of businesses listed people management is what they would most like advice on. Not surprising, right? How do you navigate a team that might be partially working from home, might be navigating this very intense experience, plus all of the different um, job related trends I just mentioned. We also found in that survey, 41% would be willing to pay their accountant more for advice on their people strategy. Right? which is amazing. We know that accounting professionals have built incredible businesses, all of you included, but how can you tap into more ways to help your clients, which then also, you know, this is a good thing, results in more revenue for you. That can be a win-win. 
And so I'm really excited now to spotlight some of our recent product work that we've been doing to actually help tackle these trends, enable you to better act upon them. And really, again, a lot of this is based on feedback from many of you as well. So the first one I want to spotlight is a company that we actually bought and brought into Gusto. So you're going to see us both building a lot more. We're hiring hundreds and hundreds of engineers, but also looking at how do we even accelerate some of these different opportunities. And that'll be through us acquiring businesses. And so if you have any ideas, suggestions, send them our way. We're looking at great companies all over the country, all over the world. Um, but RDS, I'm super excited to spotlight. You're going to hear from Joshua, their CEO. And we do not have a rule that all these companies have to have the CEO have their name be Joshua. Just that's a coincidence. But um, they're really focused on tax credits. It's something that we saw as an incredible opportunity and need. These are not new concepts. Tax credits have been around for a long time. And yet we know that the companies that are most benefiting and or could most benefit, frankly, are not benefiting because it's complex, right? It's a lot of um, processes, systems. Bigger companies definitely have the resources to go tackle and get advantage of these. But especially smaller and medium-sized companies often aren't even aware that they can actually go get tax credits, be compliant, and then effectively get free money for their business. So how can we make that incredibly simple, directly attached to payroll, and enable you to be a part of that equation. We're really excited. You're going to hear again more from Joshua later today. On the Symmetry software side, Symmetry is really one of the most incredible, amazing payroll companies in the US. It's a 40-year-old company. I actually visited their office earlier this week in Arizona. Um, these are like payroll geeks times 1,000. You thought Gusto people love payroll. Symmetry are like the heart and soul of payroll. And we really believe very strongly in having the best infrastructure. They've been a partner of ours for many years. And so we're just thrilled now that they're literally a part of Gusto. And so that's an important thing that we really believe will help enable us to continue to scale and process trillions of dollars of payroll going forward. And then last but not least, I want to spotlight Gusto Embedded Payroll, which is something that we actually have built in-house. And you're going to hear more from my colleague, Shomrat, later today. He's going to spotlight what this is all about. But the very quick summary is it's an opportunity for other software companies or companies that have that skill set who don't want to go build payroll themselves. Payroll is hard to build. It's not a small project. We know that. We can attest to it. And they still have the underlying pain point. They have small and medium-sized businesses that want to be helped. They can now use Gusto to embed payroll directly in those products and still have it be powered by our, our system and our infrastructure. Um, three more recent our upcoming launches I want to spotlight, and then I'll be closing and passing to my colleagues. Number one, really excited to be making state tax registration dramatically simpler. This is a trend that's been accelerated again by COVID, where a company might hire someone in a different state, or they might just have an employee move there, or maybe they move there and now have a kid, and there's all these different rules and regulations tied to where your team is located, obviously. And in the past, we've tried to make all of that simple, but state tax registration has been one piece that we were really working hard to get to, and now we're there. So excited to be able to support um, both through what we do and through a partner over all 50 states in terms of tax registrations. Should make it easier for your clients to hire and set up employees anywhere in the country. And the second one here actually dovetails nicely. We also have, and you all have clients, hiring people internationally, right? That's also been accelerated due to COVID and the remote work trend. And so really excited. We are actually in 80 countries today. You can pay contractors in 80 countries across the world. We'll be in over 100 by the end of 2021. And we're excited to be investing a lot in that work as well to make it easier for your clients to hire people wherever they might be and make sure that it can all be managed by you in Gusto in a centralized way that's compliant for their business. As I close here, I just want to reinforce again how much I'm excited about all of this work. And I just also want to reinforce that uh, really that service level is a huge, huge focus for us. Uh, I know words are easy. Actions are what matter most. And I hope in the coming weeks and months, you'll see that result in all of the different expectations you've always had for how Gusto responds and replies to you in a very prompt manner. So in closing, I really just love celebrating both Gusto Next, this community, and this Certified People Advisor program. 
Uh, it's something that I believe can and will become even more critical to how small and medium businesses work across the country, across the world in the future. And you all are the biggest enablers of that. So we're just thrilled to partner with all of you. You're a huge part of our community. And I'm looking forward to you all hopefully enjoying the rest of today and being a part of our community for many years to come. Thank you so much. Yeah.